Hello, New Hope. Pastor Gary here. Amidst all of today's turmoil, destruction, the burning of our cities, and so forth, it's very easy to lose focus and very easy to look and spend all of our time thinking about the problem and maybe not so much about the solution. We have a race to run. We've got steps to climb. And so today I've chosen Psalm 121 just to kind of highlight that. And Psalm 121, I'll read it and then comment just a little bit as we go through. But it begins like this, I will. And isn't that where everything starts? It's with the will of man. I will lift up my eyes unto the hills. In our case, specifically unto one hill, and that's the hill Mount Zion. It was Mount Zion where the temple was built by Solomon. It's Mount Zion is the location of God's presence upon the earth, symbolized um, by the temple. So um, that's where my help comes from. The psalmist here is asking a question, where does my help come from? But my help comes from God, the God that inhabits that place and inhabits that land. My help comes from the Lord, verse 2 says, and this is the God that create, created or made the entire heavens and the earth. So my help comes from someone who is omnipotent, all-powerful, all-knowledgeable. Uh, there is nothing that gets by God. He can see it all, and he watches over it all. He will not allow your foot to be moved, or he will not allow a misstep. Have you ever stumbled going up a set of steps and fallen kind of on your face? I have, because sometimes we're not watching what we're doing. But God will watch even our steps, the psalmist said. Now this Psalm 121 is the second of 15 psalms of ascent, or psalms of degrees. And there's a heading above each chapter, and you can see it. And so uh, this is one of those psalms. And the idea is climbing uh, up the sets of, of steps, the last set of steps, approaching the temple platform level where the presence of God was represented. So uh, some are even called, a instead of a psalm of ascent or a song of a, ascent or degrees or steps, they're also known as a song of pilgrims. And so here, pilgrims are coming up into the presence of God and ascending a set of steps up. There are 15 steps from the court of the women up to the middle court or the court of Israel. And uh, in the Mishnah, it talks about that, ascending up. And on each level, at each step, there was a musician. These were Levitical mus musicians who were singing the praises of God and who were playing the praises of God. And so the Pastor Austins and Pastor Bretts and those uh, in charge of our music and those who love the Lord, they, just like the Levites of old, are leading us to worship <clears throat> into the presence of God. So he'll not suffer our foot to be moved. He, keep, he that keepeth thee shall never slumber. Behold, he that keepeth Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is thy keeper. So three times here in a couple of verses, he, he refers to the word keeping. And the idea of keeping there is to build a hedge around, to guard, uh, specifically guard or protect a treasure or something that is treasured. So the Hebrew word there is used three times and translated in our English Bible, keep, keepeth. But that word is used three more times, and I will read those verses in just a minute where it's translated in our English Bibles, preserve. It's the very same Hebrew word, and the meaning is the same. God will build a hedge around his people. He will guard his people. He treasures us. The Lord is the shade upon thy right hand. The sun shall not smite thee by day, nor the moon by night. The idea there is in the deserts of Israel, you need uh, shade from the heat of the day to preserve or, or to protect your life. 
And so God is even protecting from natural things like sunlight. Verse 7, the Lord shall preserve you from all evil. He shall preserve your soul. The Lord shall preserve your going out and your coming in from this time forth and even forevermore. You're going out and coming in. The only two places you can be, out or in. And God will preserve and protect us there. He will keep us there. So like the pilgrims of old who traveled from all over Israel up to Jerusalem, three times during the course of the year, the males were required to appear before God at the temple in Jerusalem uh, as we, just like those pilgrims, are approaching the city of God with the help of all that God has given us, the pastoral staff and so forth. He's going to watch over you. He's going to protect you. And God loves each and every one of us. And so even though today's turmoil and destruction makes it easy for us to get our minds and our eyes off of the prize, uh, let's circle back and let's keep our eyes upon Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith. We need help in this country. We need help that can only come from above. And so uh, today I'd like to, to pray for our nation and those in authority over us and that there be answers and solutions instead of more violence and instead of more pain. So Lord, we need your help. We come before you in Jesus' name. And as we ascend those steps uh, toward the presence of God, I pray, God, that your hand would be upon your children, that you'd watch over them as you have promised. Protect your church. Uh, protect, God, your people, I ask in Jesus' name. And I pray for a special anointing upon those who have authority over us, those that uh, can make decisions that directly affect our lives. So I pray for the governor of this state. I pray for the governors of the other states where the violence has spread. I pray for the leadership there. I pray, God, that your people would step up and extend loving arms to, uh, to all that are, hurt, are hurting. I pray for our president, vice president, his cabinet. I pray for members of Congress and the Senate, Lord. Uh, that leaders would step up inspired by the Spirit of God. I pray for answers in Jesus' name. I pray for revival in Jesus' name. And let it start in your house, God. In Jesus' name we pray. Now the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Amen. Shalom. See you next time, New Hope. Until then, walk in the Spirit and not fulfill the lusts of the flesh. Amen.